Welcome back to Tour de France 2020 on PS4. My name is Wenji and today we're going to continue our decoding quick step playthrough to try and win this one with Remco Evenepoel. Today we've got a stage 16 from La Tour de Paix to Villard de Long. We go over three mountains but it's basically a transitioning stage. Col de Port, we also have Côte d'Hervelle but finally the Villard de Long finish after the Monte de saint nizier Genuinely not sure how this stage is going to be written in this game. In real life it was a breakaway stage with Leonard Kem not taking it home but Obviously, before we dive into the game itself, let me start off by saying a few things. It's been a while since we've done the series. I wanted to finish it sooner, I had some PlayStation issues, and I actually had to get a uh, new second-hand PlayStation to get this game working again. I had to figure out a way to get the save file from one PlayStation to the other, and eventually we're here today and it's working again. But anyway, let's dive into this game. We were 10 seconds ahead of Full Song with Remco Evenepoel, Last time I checked on the Colombier, the Grand Colombier, the climb, we got stage 16 now. I think next one is Mehibel Colalo, so Queen stage coming after this one, but it's probably good that I'm starting off with a stage like this because, quite simply, it's been so long since I played this game and I didn't know the controls anymore, so this is gonna be a wild ride. I'm gonna be a bit rusty in the first few stages. Personally, I'd love to try and get this one the GC way because we're in a position that we need to use these kind of stages to try and up the margin on full sung a bit. We've got the benefit of having a time trial in the final week, but then again, it's a mountain time trial, so I'm not sure how that will affect anything in game. So I'm basically just curious. Let's dive into this first stage, the 16th one, and let's try and win it. I think our main goal is simply going to be gaining time on the others. Bernal, full sung, and Roglic are apparently the favorites according to the game. That's, uh, well, in real life it's not really like that because this kind of stage would not go to GC anyway. But in game it is like that, so let's try and make sure that doesn't happen and let's hope Evenpool can put his foot between the door there. But I also mainly want to try and get these green jersey points. That's like 40k into the stage, so Sam Bennett in the breakaway would be ideal, but we'll have to get over that third cat climb first. I recall this stage having a bit of a battle between Bennett and Sagan in real life. But in game, I think we should be able to get him in the breakaway without too much trouble, I hope. So let's give it a try first. Ah, oh, Trenton was in green. I forgot about it. Yeah. No, no, no. We're not in green. I gotta fix that. Oh, I gotta fix that. Gotta get through the peloton first. That's uh, preferably the first thing I'll do here. Honestly, that's the real benefit of having a green jersey at the start here. Because if you start the stage with a green jersey and you start at the front of the peloton and... Quite genuinely, the break is already gone the moment that I hit the front here, so that's a bit of a bummer. Is that Cavagna? Yes, it is. So if I can get Cavagna to... This is so messy for the first time again. Let's put him on tempo 100. That way I can make sure that the tempo in the peloton just doesn't die. And it also opens up the peloton a bit more if someone's pacing at the front. And that way I can try and move up on the right here. There we go. Is that Magnus Court Nilsson in the attack? Didn't read the name. Let's try and follow. Can I get Cavagnau with me? That would be ideal, to be honest. Let's see, can I... What is attacking again? Is that this? Yes, it is. Whew, this is so difficult again. Let's move on to the attack. Can I somehow get into the wheel of Cavagnau attacking? That is ideal. Oh boy, nope, 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 nope. I bottled it. I bottled it. Let's try and use Cavagnado. Can we? Cavagnado, wait. Wait, 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 amigo. You will wait for me. Not for Remco. For Sam Bennett. There we go. And this way I will plainly put you on protecting Bennett. And this way I can try and get to the front without spending too much energy on Bennett himself. So let's hope we can get to the front in this next descent. And if we can do that, with this one minute behind we are, then I believe we can get that intermediate sprint, but gotta survive that KOM first. Isn't it crazy how Pogacar grew so much in real life in just the span of a year? Like, last year he was good at Algarve, I think, first, and then through the Vuelta he broke through with those three stage wins. Awesome ride that was. And in-game he still was so underrated, and as you can see, he is underrated because... He's currently in the breakaway, and that's, like, generally the only thing he's done so far in this Tour de France playthrough, so he's gonna need a serious upgrade after I'm done with the series, that is for sure. 
Let's try and make sure we can get to the front here and let's try and close this down. I think we already got up quite a lot. Only 20 seconds left to go and I think we're in the clear for that for that beautiful green jersey uh, points gate thingy. Here we go, sprint is incoming. I should have just made my own train for this to be honest. I'll still do it. Not sure if it will be on time, but I think it will. There we go. Remy, TGV de Clément Ferrand, let's get to the front, amigo. Let's try and get this one. Yep, that's not happening. He's way too far behind. Like, don't you get it, Remy? I said, get to the front. Why am I sprinting from the first position? Well, it doesn't matter because we're Bennett. We're Sam fucking Bennett. And nobody else is going to tell us not to do it. There we go. Anyone else even trying? Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Let's not lose a sprint against breakaway riders. There we go. Whew. It's closer than I thought. Freaking Ben Hammonds. Anyway, we got those points. That is good. I'm incredibly curious what the overall standings are. Can I see that? Yes, I can. And we were... Oh, fuck. We're so far behind. Oh, no, no, no. 219 points and the guy has like 110 points advantage. We generally have to win stages from this point onwards and I think only stuff that's left is stage 19 and 21 so we can get 100 points like that. Perhaps on May Bell we can get one more intermediate sprint. We'll go for it but I think this is a lost cause to be honest. Anyway I think that's roughly it for this breakaway adventure of Bennett. We don't need him to be up here so let's wait for... Group of Avenapool and should Cavanias stay up there? I think I will because I kind of want him to stay in the breakaway and perhaps be of use as a satellite rider in the future. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to switch to Avenapool. I'm going to try and not spend too much energy in the next couple of moments in this stage. I think we're going to be most likely doing the action on this San Nizia La Moucherot climb. And it's not really the biggest of climbs, but after that, there's not much left. So I don't think we're going to win a uphill sprint anyway. Perhaps if it's only GC riders, we can. But okay, so I've put Asgreen at the front. I have also put someone to protect me. That's Catanil. I don't see him though. I'm trying to avoid spending energy before this climb starts. But I might have put Asgreen a bit too much, but I think it's fine. My goal is to up the tempo a bit on this first section of the climb. To be able to go my own tempo afterwards. We've got Cavagna in the breakaway with 6 minutes and a half on the peloton. So we got to make sure that the gap between the peloton and the breakaway is not too big either. Because otherwise the satellite rider won't come into play. So if I can attack from the peloton somewhere halfway to climb. I can get a gap on them. And perhaps I can get Cavagna to wait at that point. Then I can use Cavagna after the climb is done. To help out Avenipool on the flat section after the climb. Yeah, that explanation had too much of the word climb in it, but I think you get the gist of it, so that is our plan. I gotta watch out that I don't get called behind from a shady attack here, but I still got my blue gel. This is all fine, to be honest. Gogharth. Okay. Gegenhoff. Grand Tour winner. Never thought I'd say that ever, but perhaps in the future I had it on my mind, but not that soon in 2020. What an odd year for the results, but that's the beauty of the sport. Unpredictability. Let's try and get past people on the right. And this way we see Bargill moving up. I still don't see Fulsang around. And that worries me because where is he? He's our main competitor. He enters the picture. Gonna stick in his wheel for a bit here. And he's moving up. He's moving up. People are falling through the peloton. I'm trying to avoid dropping here. Did I spend too much energy at the start of the climb? I'm genuinely starting to get worried right now. If I can get to the top, I think we're fine. I just hope nobody attacks me. I just only care about full sunk, to be honest. The rest, I don't care. They're too far behind. They've lost this tour. Okay, Cavagna on the right is back in this group. And he can start protecting me here. To avoid that, I spend too much energy. That's an attack by Ben. No, I don't care. He can go. He's going to lose minutes again pretty soon anyway. So these guys take the top. I'm going to try and move up. Last kilometer imminent. I don't want to spend this much energy though. don't have blue anyway. So it's not like there's a descend after this climb. So 
I can't just go YOLO over the top and expect to make it. I'll just use a, a decent tempo at my own pace and then try and recover as much as possible on the flat section. That's uh, what I've got in mind. Two minutes and a half to the front of the race. Not too much. Let's keep going into the short descent. And let's decide what we're going to do here. We've got this group with roughly the GC people. Yeah, the stage. I don't think I'll be able to do much for GC, to be honest. Let's try and recover a bit, but it just looks like nobody's willing to pace here. I don't expect attacks really on the flat section here. Perhaps it offers me an opportunity to just regenerate blue and attack at the end. Okay, so basically the race situation right now is the fact that I've allowed this group to expand again to 29 people. Break is going to take the stage pretty sooner, four minutes Almost five minutes behind, actually. I'm going to try and force Cavagna to do a majestic lead out into this final uphill section. I recall this being pretty climby in the end. So let's get into his wheel. Let's try not to spend too much blue doing so. Perhaps try a late attack on that climbing section. That is at least the plan I've got in mind. On the profile, it looks like nothing, but I recall this being at least like two kilometers of climbing. So... If I can use that, then that would be fine. Perhaps these guys aren't really expecting it. Six and a half K to go, and I'm ready. Three kilometers. When is it going to start going up? Looks like it's over there. That corner with 2K to go, perhaps. What if I try and force the tempo there already then? There we go. Let's try and move up. Full sang on the left. We've got a red gel left, which is going to be useful, I think. I'm going to try and get my own tempo going in these shady moves. There we go. I'm going to try and get to their wheel again. Quintana and Bernal. Here we go. I can spend a bit more of my red, to be honest. If I can get to their wheel, I can try and use my red gel. Here we go. I'm not using my red gel properly. There we go. Now I am. And 500 meters to go. And red gel is used. Let's try and use it. There we go. Ah, full sign's gonna fucking do it on the left there. Roglic in the wheel. We're gonna get uh, not gapped here, which is the most important part, but... Oh, I could have done better, I think. Yeah, I could have done better. There we go. Tale Pogacar takes the stage to Villa de Long. On the Tour de France 2020 stage 16. We lost nothing. We gained nothing. Would have hoped to gain some time. But it didn't work. I'm just scared of the next stage to be honest. When it comes to the yellow jersey. We stay in it. And I think that's going to hopefully not be lost in the next stage. Because I just said it. I'm scared of the next stage. That's called La Loz. And... We've seen on Con Colombiera I'm not overly great at conserving energy on those kind of finishes, so I'm gonna need something miraculous. We tried for that green jersey, Trentin has a huge gap on us with Bennett here, so we're gonna try and fight and see how close we can get. It's a huge gap, but we might as well try, you know? It's it's worth it. Try the stage, I saw that a lot of Sudel Rider was wearing the polka dots, I think it was Tim Wellens, but I think that is indeed because we had the yellow jersey. And because of that, we obviously can't wear two jerseys, so we're still in the lead of the climbers classification. I'll check in a sec how much. Oh my god, I was actually distanced by five seconds. Oh no, I lost five seconds on full sang again. Ah, that hurts. That makes everything worse. That's sad. That's very sad. Let's take a look at the overall classification. We're now five seconds ahead of full sign. This is coming so intensely close. If I can make sure I limit the losses on the Code La Law stage, I think I can save it in the time trial, but it is not going to be easy. This is that monster of the next episode. We go over two HC climbs, the last one being Miribel Code La Law's. Not only a huge climb in itself, but the Code La Law's finish is a new finish. We saw it in the Tour de France. 23% or something in the last three kilometers. That is just insane. But all in all, our goal is simple. We gotta try and retain that yellow jersey. And even if we don't retain the yellow jersey on this stage, 
let's limit our losses to prevent a total catastrophe at the end of the Tour de France. So if we can limit the losses, then the time trial should do as good. But we also shouldn't bet too much on the time trial because I don't know if the mountain is going to have a lot of influence on that time trial or if our time trial will be so powerful that the difference on the flat section of the time trial will be enough to keep full sang behind us there. So all in all, I'm stressed about the finish of this Grand Tour, but I'm very much looking forward to it. So I guess that's roughly about it for this episode. If you liked it, then tap that like button. If you didn't tell what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.